Hello student. In this video, I am going to discuss the IGCSC 2020 specimen paper. If you watched our previous video, I discussed question number 3 related to momentum and conservation of momentum. If you haven't seen that video, here in description part, I have put the link of that video. So in our next video, I will discuss question number 2. Before I start the discussion, I kindly invite you, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get future lesson notifications. Let's see question number 1. Our question is, figure 1.1 shows the speed time graph for a car traveling along a straight road. The graph shows how the speed of the car changes as the car passes through a small town. Before moving to calculation, I will describe full motion of our object. Here you can see speed time graph of our car motion. OA indicates constant speed of 25 meter per second in 10 seconds, while A to B indicates deceleration up to 18 seconds. Then third section B to C shows again constant speed of 13 meter per second from 18 second to 42 second and C C to D indicate acceleration from 42 second to 54 seconds and have reached the velocity of 31 meter per second and continued in this constant speed now let's move into the first part of our equation. The question is calculate the distance between the start of the town and the end of the town. Keep in mind you have three marks for this part. We can do this in two methods. First I will do calculation by using equation. As you can see our graph at point B car enters into the town and maintained 13 meter per second and point C it left the town. Inside the town area it spent 24 seconds. You know distance equal speed multiplied by time so our speed is 13 meter per second and time is 24 seconds. So you can get the final answer as 312 meters. This is the distance between the start of the town and end of the town. Other method is we can find the distance by calculating the area under the graph. Here you can see BCFE rectangle. So we can find the distance by calculating the area of this rectangle. As you know the area of rectangle is length multiplied by width. Here the rectangle length is BC and it is 24 seconds and width is 13 meter per second. So multiplying these two we can find the distance as 312 meters. In the exam just use one of these methods you can easily practice. Now let's move into part B. See what they ask. Calculate the acceleration of the car between C and D. Here also you have three marks. Same as our previous section, we can solve this by using two methods. And you can choose one of them to practice. As you know, we can measure acceleration by using the equation. Our equation is acceleration equal change of velocity divided by time taken. Here, our final velocity is 31 meter per second and initial velocity is 13 meter per second. Hence, the velocity change is 18 meter per second. Now, let's find how much of time taken for this velocity change. Here, you can see initial time is 42 seconds and final time is 54 seconds. So, the change of time is 12 seconds. As you can see, the velocity change during uh, 12 seconds is 18 meter per second. 
Now we know both data, the velocity change is 18 meter per second and time taken is 12 seconds. By dividing these two, we can get the acceleration as 1.5 meter per square second. On the other hand, we can find the acceleration by measuring the slope of the particular graph section. In order to find the slope, we have to get the tan value of this particular graph segment, CD. We can write tan theta opposite divided by adjacent. The length of our opposite is 18 meter per second and the length of our adjacent is 12 seconds. <coughs> Here I highly emphasize that don't forget the units when substituting value. So by simplifying these two, you can get the acceleration 1.5 meter per second. Here you can see if you substitute their unit correctly, you can get exactly correct unit in your final answer. Now, now we move into our final section of the question. Let's see what they ask. State how the graph shows that the deceleration of the car has the same numerical value as its acceleration. This section has only one mark and so they don't expect essay type answer but it should be descriptive and must be included all the keywords that they expect so according to this question you can write equal speed change in equal times that's enough or you can show that the same gradient having in both graph section we have already calculated the gradient of cd segment for that part we got numerical value of acceleration is 1.5 meter per square second. So let's find the gradient of AB segment. Here also we got tan value. So tan theta 2 opposite divided by adjacent. Length of our opposite is 12 meter per second. And our adjacent is 8 second. After simplified it, we can get numerical value of deceleration as 1.5 meter per square second. Now you can see we got the same numerical value for both acceleration and deceleration. We easily earn 7 marks within few minutes. Okay. If you enjoyed this video and if you think this video is more useful for your studies click the like button and share it with your friends also you can see this exercise and many other igcac maths and chemistry lesson and exercise in our science tutor.club website i have put that link in the description part of this video if you haven't subscribed our channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get future lesson as soon as i upload See you with a new video. Thank you.